actually have a degree in botany, so I always was interested in plants. I went through the Master Gardener program in St. Louis and so became a St. Louis Master Gardener. The Master Gardener program is really all about volunteering, and so you go through training to be a volunteer locally in the garden community. I went through the Master Naturalist program here in Illinois as an Illinois resident, and that's more interested in ecology and the relationship between everything in the ecosystem, which includes the birds, the bees, the butterflies, the, you know, everything that's all related there, and including man. We do all depend upon the ecosystem in order to survive, and so that kind of led me into an interest in bees, because I didn't know bees before, and so I'm not a bee expert, but you learn quite a bit about bees as part of the process. St. Louis has a very, very enriched bee population, surprisingly enriched in the urban community. We really learned a lot about six different local species of bumblebee that we might see, okay? I've seen five of them in my garden, five of those six. This is the first year I've seen the American bumblebee in my garden. So I, I've learned what plants American bumblebees like, and I've planted those plants, and this is the first year in four years that I've actually had them in my garden. So what we plant matters, you know, to these bees, and so that's the feel good for me. Those funky little things mm -hmm. there. Well, all of a sudden I took this picture and I thought, well, it must be one of the six, you know, and of the six, I've had some photos that I've uploaded that turns out it's a male late in the season. It's a different color morph of one of our common ones, whatever. And I thought, well, that must be what's going on. It looks a little different to me. I think it might be, a, you know, one of our more common ones, but I uploaded to iNaturalist and then boom, 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 boom. All the experts saying, wait a minute, this is a, this is a rare bee. This is a lemon cuckoo bumblebee. We weren't all even told much about that bee because they thought it was gone. We wouldn't be seeing it, so we wouldn't be looking for it. But the iNaturalist program is great because you don't have to be the expert. So I'm just a participant, I'm an, an observer as opposed to one of the identifiers. So it was a bee that hasn't been seen in the area in years and years. So the fear was it was gone. The plant that she was feeding upon, our, our native purple cone flower, a lot of the bees use that plant. So, you know, what brought her here? Where was she? I, I don't know why I saw the lemon cuckoo bumblebee when I did. And a lot of these native bees are shrinking in their geographical area. And so it's, it's enlightening that we have a bee that hasn't been seen in the area in years and years, and it's still here. My garden isn't any better than anybody else's. I was just lucky. And so, but it, it gives hope that there are more of these lemon cuckoo bees in the area. They're still here in spite of all the pressures that they have on them. This is all data that helps support the fact that we still have them. We don't have very many, but maybe we can keep them by bringing conservation home, if you will, planting the plants, making our ecosystem supportive of those native bees that we'll be able to retain some of those bee populations locally.